Many business problems and situations are expressed as ratios. Let's take a look at solving ratio and proportion problems. A ratio is a fraction that describes a comparison of two numbers or quantities. In business, numbers often take on much more meaning when they're compared with other numbers in the form of a ratio. Ratios can compare anything, money, weights, measures, output, or individuals. The units don't have to be the same. If we can buy 9 ounces of shampoo for $2, this is actually a ratio of ounces to dollars or 9 to 2. A proportion is a statement indicating that two ratios are equal. Proportions are equations, with as representing the equal sign. Here are the steps for solving proportion problems using cross-multiplication. Step 1. Assign a letter to represent the unknown quantity. Step 2. Set up the proportion with one ratio expressed as a fraction on each side of the equal sign. Step 3. Multiply the numerator of the first ratio by the denominator of the second and place the product on the side of the equal sign. Step 4. Multiply the denominator of the first ratio by the numerator of the second and place the product on the other side of the equal sign. Step 3 and Step 4 taken together are also called cross-multiplication. Step 5. Solve for the unknown. Remember, when setting up a proportion, the variables on both sides must be in the same order, numerator to denominator. For example, dollars over donuts equals dollars over donuts. Here's an example of solving proportions. On a recent trip, a car used 16 gallons of gasoline to travel 350 miles. At that rate, how many gallons of gasoline would be required to complete a trip of 875 miles? The situation can be solved by setting up and solving a proportion. The proportion reads 16 gallons is to 350 miles as x gallons is to 875 miles. Using cross multiplication to solve the problem, we get x equals 40.